Hey, let's give him our game face. One, two, three. What's up guys, Nate here. Welcome to Brick Tech. Today I'm coming at you with another review. This is a follow-up or a continuation of the Batman sets I'm doing. This is the Batwing and the Riddler chase. It's a set, some, uh, set number 76120 and, and where I got it from it's about $50, and it, but it can vary depending on where you get it from. This set comes with three main builds, a miniature build, uh, four minifigures, and those minifigures even include Shazam, the wizard. Before we go any further, uh, comment down below whether you would like to see this same wave of Batman sets version of the Batcave. Um, that has been on my list for a while, but um, I spent a lot of my money on another set, and that one's coming soon. It's on pre-order. It's a Star Wars set. Make sure you stay tuned for that one, because it's going to be a wild set. But for now, let's, I'm just going to start with the cop car, then the helicopter, then the Batwing. Here's our first minifigure. This is the uh, teenager endowed with powers by the wizard Shazam. He's a pretty cool minifigure, um, it's a really good point to add him, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that'll buy this set just to get him, but, um, overall he's a pretty cool minifigure, he's got some nice muscle printing, the, uh, Shazam logo, and also he's got a belt with a circle in the middle and a bunch of lightning bolts on the sides. He also has a white cape. Uh, red sleeves, uh, bright red sleeves, red pants, red torso, red, red waist. His cape is made of the newer pape, uh, felty cape material. And uh, he's also got a white hood along with a double-sided face, which to me kind of looks like Thor's alternate face with the lightning bolts coming out of his eyes. Hey, let's give him our game face. One, two, three. They actually don't give you a hairpiece for Shazam, but if you have General Zod from the old Superman Man of Steel sets, you can take his hairpiece off of General Zod and take Shazam's hood off and give him the same hairpiece that he has on the Lego games. Or if you have another hairpiece that's the same mold, you can do that as well. He also has two power blasts on each hand. All you have to do is po point his hands upward, point him away from you. Always point projectiles, especially Lego projectiles, away from your eyes, guys. Just point him away from you and press the sign. And it shoots. Here we have Commissioner Gordon's cop car. Here's a 360 degree view of it. It's got some stickers, uh, lights, tail lights, turning signals, headlights, a spotlight, uh, jail bars, a go to jail, license plate. It's got the whole nine yards that you need if you're a cop in uh, Gotham City. Or in Lego City for that matter. It's a pretty cool uh, cop car, but I've actually never seen a car, a Lego car shaped like this. Or even a regular car shaped like this. It's it's funny, and personally, I think it's really cool. I've got a low rider this morning. It's got a really, 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 uh, about ten more reallys. A really good, mean look on the front. It's got two main headlights, and it's also got two fog lights, I guess. And it's also got a bumper bar on the front in case he needs to ram someone. He also has rear view mirrors on both sides. The only thing different about the one on the driver's side is it has a spotlight attached. To remove the top, it's not on a hinge joint or anything, all you have to do. Fortunately, I have good fingernails so I can just lift that off with ease. Then you reach inside and then you've got Commissioner Gordon and that brings us to him. Here's Commissioner Gordon. He's got a blue jacket, a dark blue tie, and a brown uh, coat. He's also got a badge and uh, some really nice printing. 
the coat tails. Well, I don't, I'm not sure what they are. I guess they're just the sides of the coat, the button where the buttons aren't touching. They are follow through down to the legs. He's also got bare hands, a nice mustache that actually completely covers up his mouth, uh, glasses, eyebrows, and I believe that this is a new hair mold. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. He's also got a little bit of like crinkled or wrinkled text printing on the back to give it a little added dimensioning. He also has a grumpy double-sided face. He's also got a six-shooter, which doesn't really match up with Batman to me, but, I mean, this wave of Batman sets is the anniversary of the, of the, uh, I believe, the 18th, the first Michael Keaton movie, and the six-shooter is from that era of time. You're just, I mean, hit, that'll, that gun will do him fine, will protect him just fine. Just make sure he doesn't go up against Deadshot or anything. Prow, prow, prow. Pet, pet. To put him back in the uh, cab of the car, you just fold his legs and arms up and slide him on in. Then once you've got him in, put the roof back on. And just like that, he's perfectly concealed. On the roof, there's a few lights and uh, I really, really wish that right here in the middle, they would have given like a siren or something instead of instead of just a grill. But I guess that could be a speaker for a siren. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna imagine that it's a speaker for a siren. It's got the same tires we've seen before on multiple sets. They're used pretty nicely in conjunction with the wheel wells right here. A uh, pretty nice addition. And on the back, it's got a go-to-jail license plate, tail lights, and behind the tail lights, it's got turn signals on both sides. Here's a 360 view of the Riddler's helicopter and the safe that he's stealing. A uh, pretty good build. The proportions aren't exactly correct. Um, it's got a few stickers. Uh, I'll get all to get to all that in a minute. But I, I think that this helicopter is actually the same one that they used in the MASH TV series in, back in the 70s. And the one they used as the Batcopter in the uh, 1960s Batman movie. On the front here, when you're not looking at the uh, propellers and everything, it kind of looks like a submarine. But on the front, it's got the same bubble cockpit that those other helicopters had. It just flips up and reveals our third minifigure. Here's the Riddler, another notorious Batman villain. To me, he kind of looks like a cross between the Jim Carrey Riddler from Batman Forever and the new 52 Batman. Pretty good minifigure. He's got the uh, purple tie with the question mark on it. He also has uh, the golden riddle me this cane. And something I like is he doesn't have that white or beige um, hat. He has a green hat with a question mark on it, and also he does not have white, whited out eyes. He has just goggles, like, like is in the comic books and the movies. He's got a green suit, purple gloves, purple tie, uh, nice printing, uh, give it, uh, the, the darker green right there, right next to the side, right next to the hand, gives it some added dimensioning and some added texture. He does not come with a hairpiece, so I guess Riddler's bald except for his sideburns. He also has some darker green lining on the back, to, I guess to represent wrinkles. And he does not have a double side face because the hat does not go down the back of his head. And uh, that's pretty much it for this minifigure. To put the Riddler inside his helicopter first, and foremost, you have to remove his cane. Unfortunately, you have to remove his cane. Then you fold his arms and legs up. And stick him on in. Attach his legs to the studs. And if you're going for added detailing, which I am, you can go ahead and put his the control sticks in his hands. And I love how they gave this helicopter actual two control, uh, control sticks. Normally, they just give you like one and 
sometimes none. I love how here they gave they gave him one for altitude and speed. His helicopter has flick fire missiles on both sides, but I bet the main thing you're looking at right now and noticing is the chain. That actually connects to this safe right here. All you have to do is unhook it, pull it and pull it through, move the helicopter aside, and you, it's actually locked. It has a, some stickers on the sides. I believe this one right here is print. I might be wrong. Actually, looking at it, I think I am wrong. I think it is a sticker too. And uh, this one's also a sticker. But it looks like an actual safe, and it works like an actual safe. So, what you do to get it out, you rotate it, and it uses an actual pin and locks in there, and it slides in with this groove right here. And it's got the citizen's money. Lots and lots of money and diamonds. Uh, I wish they had put more money and diamonds in here, because I'm sure it can hold a lot more. But I've got a few more uh, cash pieces along with some more diamonds of uh, different color. I've got some rubies, some sapphires. I might put those in there, in here too, get, make it more valuable. But once you've got everything back in, it's time to lock this baby back up. You put it like this, then rotate it slowly up, and then it closes, rotate it back. And it will lock in place. And Depending on whether you're a good guy or a bad guy, if you're a bad guy, you can hook it on to the Riddler copter and take it off. Back to the Riddler copter, it does have some exhaust pipes on both sides, and also it has secondary fuel tanks, and the propellers move. In my opinion, they're, the propellers are kind of short. Uh, comment down below what you think. I just don't think the proportions are right. I mean, the propellers are this short. And this one back here is so big. Either they should have put a, a small secondary stabilizer propeller back here, or one up here, or longer ones up here. Right here, it has a recolored piece, or I believe this is a recolor. I don't think I've ever seen this in green before in a set. But it's like a tower piece. I, I'm, I think I've seen them used in tower cranes and construction cranes and stuff but moving on this piece the rudder back here does have stickers on both sides but it's like mirror stickers it's the same on both sides a uh, pretty clever design to get the propeller back here to move as well really 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 good design uh, this is a really really cool set but, uh, let's go ahead and move on. One thing I love about LEGO helicopters is if you put actually put them on top of a fan and turn the fan on high, those, the propellers will start going. You just take, with this one, you first you have to, have to take the chain off and set it right on top. I'll move it closer. Here. Now, check this out. This is awesome. Might have to readjust it a little. Takes a little bit to get the propellers going. You have to find a sweet spot. There we go. There we go. Check that out, guys. Is that not the coolest thing? That is awesome, isn't it? Once I actually built a lightweight helicopter, it was a replica of Airwolf from the 80s Airwolf show. It could seat one minifigure, and uh, it, I made it specifically very, very lightweight and with a very long propeller uh, propeller span, I guess. It, it just had really long propellers, and I put it out uh, when I was little, when I built it, I put it on top of that same fan, and it would actually get the propellers going really fast. And, it, and then the, hel the whole helicopter would lift up and event <laughs> it would take off but then it would fall down and break but the point is it would take off and I, every time I get a set that has a helicopter in it I do it with that fan 
and all I haven't had a set yet that won't uh, that won't spin the same way. Here's a 360 degree view of the Batwing. This is one of the most impressive Batwings I've ever seen. This is actually the first Batwing I ever ha I've ever had, but this is the best one I've seen. Like I've watched reviews and videos, release videos of a bunch of different ones. Nothing has topped this one. I mean, it has stu uh, built up stud shooters, uh, semi machine guns. It's got a bat logo on the front, and it can seat the Dark Knight. As I said before, on the front, it's got a bat logo, and it also has two spears on the front that help it give the sh give it the shape of the top of the bat logo. Moving up, it has the same cockpit we've seen on a few different Batmobiles before. It just opens up, and here is our fourth and final minifigure, and why did he separate from his legs? <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> There he is. Come on, come on. There, there we go. Here we have Batman. This is the same Batman that has appeared in the previous Batmobile video that I did. If you haven't checked out that video, go, uh, go click the subscribe button and also go check out that video and click the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos. But moving on. He has some very, very, very intimidating printing. Uh, unfortunately, there is no, like, buy printing on the, uh, legs or anything. I would have liked to see it go from gray at the top to black at the bottom to simulate boots. But it is what it is. He's got the same cape material that Shazam has, and he also has a Batarang. Unlike Shazam, his weapon does not shoot. <laughs> but, um, let me flip this up for you. He has some, he has, uh, also has some nice printing on the back side of his torso. And he's also got a double-sided smirking face. And I love the fact that with this Batman, they didn't, they didn't give him the traditional headband look. You can actually display him without his cowl. Because that just looks like goggles to get to widen his eyes. But something I do not get is why he's so pale. He looks he looks like a zombie Batman. Or a vampire bat. To put him in the Batwing, first you have to take off his Batwing, uh, his Batarang. Which, unfortunately, cannot fit in the cockpit with him holding it. I mean, it could if you just sat it in his lap. But, I mean, who wants to do that? But then, once you have his Batarang uh, detached from his hands, you'd flip his arms and uh, legs up and lay him all the way back, put his arms down, and close the cockpit. On either side of the cockpit, there's two built-up stud shooters. They're built up with a grenade. The studs are right there, then there's a hollow stud, then there's a grenade piece. A really cool design in my opinion. What you have to do, you just click this gray piece kind of hard with some force. And oh, that didn't shoot into oblivion. Cool. And on the wings, it has mounted two stud shaped tile shooters. What you have to do there is push on this brown rod right here, kind of hard, and only one of them shot with any force whatsoever. Right here on the back here, there's some fins that move up and down a little bit, and they give it uh, some nice texture, and I guess they're vertical stabilizers, but I'm not sure. This right here is not a printed piece, it's a printed sticker. And you put the sticker on the piece itself. And on either sides on the back, there's two vents. They're, they are on both sides. I guess they're exhaust vents. I'm not sure, but I just like to call them exhaust vents. And on the underbelly, there's two lights. If you hold it up right, you can really, really see why they call it the Batwing. It looks like the Bat logo. All in all, guys, this is an amazing set. 
I mean, look at this. You get all this stuff in one set for 50 bucks. I mean, I got the Ghost back in 2014 for 50 bucks. It was a one build, or one, one build. And I had to pay extra to get the Phantom, and that was about $30, so I had $80 in just two things. But this, for $50, you get a cop car. Shazam! Shazam! A safe. A working safe. The, the Riddler in his helicopter and the Batwing. I mean, the, to me, the two things that um, attracted me to this set were the cop car, or three things, were the cop car, Shazam, and Batman. But the main thing was Shazam. Because I do not have a Shazam. I don't think he's ever been in a Lego set before, except for this one. And it was a really smart idea for them to add him in this set. But, uh... I think I will be doing some more of this Batman wave of set because so far they have not messed up one bit. So far they've, they've been really solid, really, really solid sets. But uh, being, uh, that being said, that's pretty much going to wrap this video up. Uh, stay tuned for another video I've got coming. Um, it's uh, going to be in September. That's when the, the set I'm getting comes out. It's a Lego Star Wars set. I'm not going to tell you what it is, so you have to subscribe and click the notification bell down in the description below if you want to see that. And uh, that being said, I'll see you next time on Brick Tech. Bye-bye.